Hello stranger. Hello stranger. Okay, so hi, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? I'm doing how good have you also. been doing? Everything's been great so far, so that's good to hear. Do you want to go first? Okay, I guess your age first. That's the easier one. Um, yeah. You're nineteen, and your name. Um, <laughs> let me see. Aisha. Do I look like an Aisha to you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see how we do. Okay, my name and my age. Probably your name is um, Josh. <laughs> Josh. Okay. Okay. Uh, and you're twenty. Two, I think. 22. Okay, so um, I let you know of my name and my age first. Okay, um, I'm Kirti and I'm 21. And so, what were you? Did I get it right? Aisha. <laughs> <laughs> so my name is Nazira and I am 19 years old. So you're correct on the age part. Okay, hi Nazira. <laughs> hi Kirti. <laughs> okay, uh, what do you think my weakness is? Time management, I Time guess. Time management. Okay, wait. Uh, is it stated anywhere behind? <laughs> okay. Uh, you got it right. Actually, um, time management in terms of. Not to say um, I do not know how to manage my time. It's just like, I like to do it at the very last minute because I get a thrill out of it. So I get like an adrenaline rush out of it, so it pushes me to do stuff. Yeah. Oh, so you're a spontaneous person, is it? Yeah, you can say that. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> What is the most fun I can remember having recently? What was I doing? Who was I with? Um. So for this que- uh, for this question, yeah. Um. I moved to Malaysia recently, like three months ago. So I'm far from home now, and. I must say I haven't be, I haven't been having fun that much lately because I miss home. Mm-hmm. But the most fun I can remember is <clears throat> probably um, having time with one of my friends. Uh, like we went grocery shopping together, and yeah. Okay, she well, just com- accompanied me there. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's. The most you can actually do due to the current situation now. Yeah, yeah, right, that's the so. only source of entertainment for me. <laughs> right. So exactly. What's the most exciting improvement I've been seeing in myself recently? Okay. Uh, to be honest, I would say in terms of uh working out, bodybuilding. So I've been I took up this whole bodybuilding kind of thing a year ago. So I've been seeing improvement in it. So it's. Exciting, you know, and you see changes okay. to your own self. So yeah. Oh, uh, what do I need help with currently? Who can help me? How can I help myself? Um, I think I need help with more, um, um, more ambition for school because I've been really unproductive because of this whole lockdown situation, and I must say from that I. It's only me who can help myself to get that motivation. Yeah. True. True. I agree. You know, it's always you versus you. It's not you versus yeah. others. Yeah. True. True. It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> I should have asked you earlier. Anyway, what are you studying? Ah, uh, um, I'm studying. Right. We forget to do it. Um, I'm studying international hospitality management. How about you? Okay. Um, I'm in my third year medical school. Oh my god! Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm so, in my first year. Your first year, so yeah. I guess you've never been on campus. Uh, I did like um, on uh, in May, April. I I had some uh, offline classes for the kitchen class, but that's about it. Only that. How long was it for the duration? One month, two months? Uh, I only got to go for one month. Yeah. One month. Okay, but uh, I suppose it was like you know uh, there weren't many people on campus, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even in my class, there are only like three people, including me. Okay, uh, I really hope when the pandemic's over, you get to see the real crowd on campus. Thank you, yes. yeah, Amen. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Because <laughs> uh, I think I've got like two years on ground experience. 
because I did my pre-university studies on campus as well, and my first two years of my medical school was on campus at Lakeside. So then now it's at Sungai Buloh Hospital. So, yep, uh, the real crowd is you know you will see it when you get to see it. <laughs> okay, okay. I know. Yeah, okay. Are you talking to other people currently? If so, are you seeking a real connection or needing a distraction? Let me see. Uh, talking to other people in terms of, uh, for example, um, studies wise, yes, I'm talking to my lecturers, my friends, and <laughs> <laughs> and simulated patients online. So, uh, other than that, I would say, um, if I'm seeking a real connection or needing a distraction. Um, I would say it's all about connection and not about distraction because if it's a genuine one, if it's a true one, it's never going to be a distraction. Mm, true. Yeah. So if it's a distraction, then you know it's not a genuine one, you know. So, yeah, true. Yeah. So, yeah. What do you want to receive from a future relationship? Uh, what do you want to give? So, uh, it would be great if you can actually be specific about it. And even if you're in a relationship, you can actually describe your present situation. So it's getting into your personal life right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so to start with, I'm not in a relationship right now, but from a future relationship, I would like to receive comfort. Comfort is really number one for me because if I don't feel comfortable with you, then I don't think I can start a relationship with you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I want to receive a good communication, like I say couple of times before, I really wanted to be a two-way instead of one way. Mm-hmm. Uh, it would be great if you can, uh, you know, just talk about what you're feeling to me instead of keeping it up to yourself. What do I want to give? It's better if you just give and give, right? Like, yeah, like what you said before, instead of like, you give and like you're expecting something, because then mm-hmm. I don't think that would be too great for the relationship. Yeah. Cool. So, yep, I agree with you. Communication is the key to not only your um, relationship with your yeah. better half, but all kind of relationships, be it friendship or anything. Cause, yeah, yeah, true. What's been the kindest thing someone has done for you during this time? What's been the kindest thing you've done for yourself? Okay, um, kindest thing someone has done would say, okay, so I just entered my third year. So my third year is actually different from my first two years, the, the first two years are actually theoretical years. So w- once I actually enter my third year, I actually start seeing real life patients. Mm-hmm. I come up with diagnoses and stuff like that. But then due to the pandemic, I don't get to see patients. Mm-hmm. So uh, we actually study at home. It's more of theoretical right now. But what my senior would say, he's going to graduate soon. He's in his fifth year. He actually, uh, he spends his time. And even though he's like going to be sitting for one of the major exams, uh, he'll be spending his time every weekend on a Sunday to actually guide me through how to do stuff and what to do and what not to do. And so I would say that's the kindest thing actually someone has done for me in this situation. And the thing that I've been kind to myself is to get a proper sleep, proper diet, which I've not been getting before the pandemic, you know, rushing here and there. So yeah. Good to hear that. What about you? What about you? Um, what's been the kindest thing someone has done for me is, as I said, as I'm away from home, I don't, I, I don't have that much people that can, that I can talk with comfortably. So um, I have a friend that uh, he really listens to me only. Like he didn't give me any, any advice. Yeah, sometimes I I need that too. You know, like where someone can just listen to me and not talk about it. True, true, true. You get, you get what I mean, true, right? True, okay. Yeah, and I think that's the kindest thing someone has done for me and the kindest thing I've done for myself is probably uh, knowing when to stop if I, if I get too stressed about school. So mm-hmm. I get distracted first and then I continue. Yeah. That's great, that's great, that's great. Yeah, I had a fun time too meeting you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> of all the days staying at home and you know, all making new friends, it's actually great. So, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, so I really hope you get to be on campus in the near future and you get to see the real crowd, you know. 
So, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I would really love that too. Okay, right. Stay safe and take care. You too.